Today marks the beginning of my third month on Robaccutane. Two months have passed, um, I'm now on 40 milligrams, so I'm gonna be filming my skin every single day this month to show you the progress. Hopefully, I think most people start to see good progress with their skin in month three um, and month four. So, fingers crossed, because month two is was really difficult. I'll leave a link to those videos in the down bar, as well as month ones, which was quite traumatic as well. So this is how my skin looks at the moment. I broke out a lot towards the end of month two with loads of kind of cystic under the skin spots that were just not coming to a head. And since then, all of these spots um, have started kind of flaking. Yesterday, my skin was atrocious, really flaky. My lips were so, so tight. I should also say I'm going on holiday this week, so um, these kind of videos might be in a different background and um, I'm gonna be wearing SPF 50 every day so I don't burn, so I'll keep you updated with how that goes as well. I have a feeling these are all going to scar because I've had them for such a long time now and they're not going down at all, um, so I am really worried about that, but hopefully this month I'll see some improvements. I can't remember what the day is, I apologise, but I'm on holiday now, so um, different setting for a while. Um, I'm really happy with my skin today. My scarring seems a lot more red and pink and prominent than it did for the past week or so. I think that's because I've stopped, tried to stop picking it. So I'm really, really happy with how my skin looks today and hopefully a little bit of sun um, with SPF 50, of course, will be really good for my skin. I'm very worried about um, my side effects because of the sun. You can't go on sunbeds or have, like sunbathe on the Boracutane. So I'm wearing SPF 50 every day and I'll update you as to how that goes. I got the worst night's sleep last night because I've got such a bad pain in my neck. I just can't get comfortable. It's been like this for a week. It's getting really sore now and I've never had anything like this before so I'm guessing it's to be put down to the medication. Also, um, also this guy is very inflamed compared to this one. This is my skin today. I also haven't put lip balm on in 15 minutes and this is how they look. They're so dry, like I can hardly, like, and even doing that, they start cracking in the corners. So that's really bad. Also, um, my skin is super sensitive. So, like, if I just itch like that, it feels like a knife against my skin. Even using my foundation brush, which is so soft, it feels like I'm rubbing the sandpaper into my skin. So my skin is just hurting a lot. When I touch it. I missed yesterday because we had a really early morning but I'm sure as you can see I've got something going on with my eyes. I've got some kind of eye infection. Never really had one before and the only thing I can compare it to is um, kind of how it feels when I had really really bad hay fever like um, gunky in my eye. Eyes just watering all the time. Itching so much like the itch is unbearable. It makes me want to gouge my eyes out. Now they're all swollen. Yesterday they were just very itchy and now they're just completely swollen up so I can't wear any makeup. Um, it's, I'm guessing it's down to the pills, um, also maybe the heat on holiday um, and I did hold a cat the other day and I'm not sure, maybe I'm a little bit allergic to cats but I really don't think it would have made my eyes this bad because um, that was like four days ago now. Really frustrated basically my skin just isn't making any improvement so I'm just really frustrated so you're supposed to be going to a film premiere tomorrow night and that's definitely not happening now it's one I got my makeup and two I'll probably just want to sit there and gouge my eyes out also because I'm in a foreign country I have no idea what to ask for at the pharmacy so just can't wait to go home. Also just wanted to show you another side effect. I've started getting eczema patches on my arm and I don't remember scratching them so I guess my skin is just really drying out now from the medication. Also got like a little rash up here as well. My skin is so dry but I'm finally back home. Um, in the UK my eyes are still pretty infected. Um, like if I look, wait, 
if I look that way it's very very swollen on the inner corner and the same with this side they're so itchy if I've been taking some drops then they're feeling a little bit better um in terms of skin it's really really flaking now especially around my eyes I think it's because I've been rubbing my eyes so much the skin is just getting really dry like it feels so scaly down here down here just feel like Ma like I'm wearing a mask so I can't move my face properly. Really happy to be home because the heat was really getting to me especially with my dry skin and not being able to be in the sun properly but I've decided to do a blog post all about um like you how to deal with um the sun on holiday whilst on raw Accutane so um that'll be up on my blog soon I'll leave a link in down by. Skin I haven't really had any new spots apart from this which was crusty when I woke up but I didn't pop it I didn't even realise there was a spot there Um, I feel like it's getting better in in the fact that I haven't had any new spots it's just kind of scarring and dry skin on old blemishes Um, but I'm really going to have to try slathering my face in some really intense moisturiser now I'm home to kind of get it back on track the side effects are well and truly hitting me still my eyes are slightly better they're still very itchy and bloodshot kind of in the middles but um a lot better than they were i have a white head here i think today um lips are super dry i haven't moisturized yet and they look look at that that's just ridiculous so so dry um also my body is just itching all over like I just feel like I've got a million nap bites on my um, skin and I just need to itch and itch and itch until it goes but obviously it never goes that's eczema for you but I've just looked at my arm look at that just normal scratches and they've completely like marked my skin and my whole body is like this at the moment my whole entire body like especially my legs are like this also I've got a really really weird lump on my thigh um, I have thought it was a bite originally, like an insect bite, because it's really swollen and big and um, like there's heat coming off it. And, but it's just so, so itchy. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's just a massive, massive lump like this big on my thigh that is very itchy and swollen. I might insert a picture here. I didn't realise how much your body needed oil, I guess, to function and heal um, because I'm just like that. Not good. The skin's looking okay though. No real spots apart from that. It feels very soft but very, very dry. The only thing I've found that helps the dryness is coconut oil, so I'm going to be stocking up on that. Day 86, I guess the first thing I should point out is that I accidentally headbutted a stack of um, paper a couple of hours ago and I've now got this. Like paper. Paper is kind of almost bruising and leaving marks on my skin that's how sensitive and fragile my skin is at the moment it's literally taken a layer off my skin I did pick my skin this morning which is naughty but um I, other than kind of this and this i'm really really happy with how my skin's looking today looking back at the original picture of my skin before i even started racutane compared to now my skin is so much more kind of smooth less textured which is amazing um and it, it just looks a lot healthier and a lot more glowing i think so i'm really kind of excited to see how my skin looks at the end of month three i hopefully it will start picking up now as soon as these go then i feel like I'm going to look great. Also, my mum really complimented my skin the other day as well. Um, so, yeah. I'm so sorry I haven't filmed in a while, but I kept putting makeup on without realising and forgot to film. Um, and then by the evening time, it was too dark. Anyway, day 92, my skin is so good. I've had one spot recently, and it's been like a tiny little one here. Um, but apart from that, I'm so, so happy with it. I am, like everywhere else, falling apart. My whole body is ripped to shreds at the moment. My legs are absolutely disgusting. Um, and I've also got some kind of rash on my arm as well. Um, both sides here, it's like just super bumpy and red. I'm not really sure what that's from. But my legs are vile. Eye infection is pretty much gone, which is great. Um, lips are super dry. I got very very drunk the other day and missed my first two pills. It was my birthday a couple of days ago, I turned 28 um, and it was the first day I'd missed taking a pill. I was just quite tipsy and I thought it's probably not the best idea to take them today. So I have missed a day but um, 
obviously I'll just keep going forward being as good as I can. Also I got full smells done the other day and um, I was a bit worried beforehand about the UV light that you have to put your nails in to kind of dry the um, polish. But I slathered my hands in SPF 50 and it was fine. So if any of you are worried about that, getting gels or shillick or whatever, don't worry, just slather your hands in SPF. I'm really happy with my skin still, apart from I've woken up with a little spot um, on my chin. But I can't really pick it at the moment because of my nails, which is a great thing because I can't scratch as much as... I normally did or pick my skin. I've also noticed that my nose is very dry on the inside which is a little bit annoying and a little bit painful as well but that like it's giving me a little bit of a sniff but that's okay. And my skin is still like rashy all over my arms so I just really need to keep up with the moisturiser. My skin looks amazing! It looks amazing doesn't it? Doesn't it Bear? Uh, no, I keep you this. It looks so good! I'm so so happy with my skin today it's just so lovely and soft and I feel like it's very clear I have been getting some um, spots the past couple of days but they're weird ones they're like not white heads they're just little lumps under the skin like this um, and that but there's a lot of stuff in them but they don't come to a head it's just kind of under the skin um, and I know that's naughty but they have been quite satisfying to get rid of um, but my skin's super nice today, I'm really really happy with it. My mood has been a bit down the past couple of days um, for different reasons but I think I'll be alright so yeah I'm feeling very positive. This looks bad though doesn't it? My lip has been cracking a lot more on this side. For some reason this side's fine, it's just this side. I thought I'd show you what my skin looked like in the morning, my lips just like dry flaky skin like coming off which is really gross sorry about that when i woke up this morning i just went like that and i was just like oh this is the dream isn't it couldn't couldn't be more happy and tomorrow marks the end of month three so i'll be doing a full update video soon